Hello and welcome to episode 12 of Games Minecraft Let's Play. <sighs> Much like episode 11, this one was also an after-the-fact commentary. Um, just showing you around the, the home. My little one-bedroom home. It's awesome. Uh, but I had done some changes in between episodes. Like I said, I finished the path, put in some stairs, wrapped it around... And sent it all the way, even put path here. Look at it, it's gorgeous. I like this path, I really do. And these will probably be what I use from now on. I like the red. Um, spot sits patiently like a good boy. I need to get a kitty. But again, I need to find a jungle biome to do so. And I think I might spawn one just to be all of it. I'm joking. Like, this is not something I want to do. Um, hmm, why am I picking up my wood? I grabbed a lot of the wood. I'm trying to remember. Like I said, these are after the facts, and... I don't clearly remember what I've done, but I've done it. Oh, I also put up the uh, village tor uh, torchlight things, the stands. They provide decent light. It's not great, but it's good light. Um, and I think, I'm not sure if you can put a pumpkin on those or not, but I'll check later. I might replace those with jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, that's right. I did the math. That's exactly, those 35 books, three stacks of 35, that's exactly the amount of bookshelves sh I need, and I didn't have enough wood. Eh, wood. So, um, I think right now I'm in the process of creating as much as possible. I did that just in case. Um, I really burned through my wood supply here. Um, there it is. I really do like um, I think what I'm gonna do yeah I think I have enough now do 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 yeah I, I used to put my Arcadia stack instead of the Bam, and that gets me the Librarian Achievement, um, which was fine. I was happy with it. Um, I put all the wood away. And we finish up. Like I said, I'm just showing you the basic pattern for uh, successful. There are some other ones that work just as well for this, but this is, I think, oh, oh, and that's when I realized I'm still in creative mode and I did not use a single one of those blocks. So I stay in creative mode a little longer to undo my work because, you know, Fa uh, not fair. Even I forgot I was still in creative mode, but I remember being in it. Set the game back to survival real quick. And I think I explained that I was in creative mode, just doing a little bit of exploring. Um, oh, I hate remember this. I was mad. I was mad. Because when you destroy a bookcase, you only get the books back. The wood's gone. Like, I think the only thing that would salvage a bookcase is a silk touch pickaxe, of which I do intend to have one for cases like that, because uh, glass does the same thing. So I think I go all the way around. As you can see, the runes flying in. And I need to go and make one more. I head on down to make one more. And then I realize I don't have any wood planks on me, so I grab that quick stack of 12. And pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Bam. Book 
bookshelf. Okay. Bam. -na -na -na. We have an enchantment area. Um, later on, when I actually build uh, a castle and such, because that is a goal. Eventually, you're going to come in one episode and the homestead is either a large plantation or a castle. Oh yeah, I forgot I enchanted a fishing rod. I was hoping to get one that has, uh, there's an enchantment for specifically for fishing rods. It increases your uh, catch rate. I don't think I do a big enchantment on the fishing rod. I think I just do the six and I get unbreaking. I remember this. Uh, bam, yeah, I'm breaking one. <laughs> I was a little upset because I wanted one of the newer enchantments, but now the pickaxe, I just straight over the 30. And I got efficiency and I'm breaking three, which is good. It means it's faster and it will, it has higher durability. So I'm okay. Not entirely, but I'm going to work on enchanting later off camera with some of this stuff. Oh, things I wish I had from uh, mods. <laughs> I really do. Um, one of the Hexic mods, I think it's Bibliocraft, adds um, armor stands, which would be a gorgeous thing for them to add in-game, and all it does is renders the armor as though it was being worn, but not. in Like, it renders it as a 3D object. I can imagine that the code just confuses the armor to think it's on a player, and it's not. We go over the achievements I need, I gotta get overkill, and the... The diamond one? I think is next, I've, uh, and then uh, we need to go deeper into the nether, which is actually the decision I make this episode. But I uck up my nether, nether portal. Um, a little bit. Um, and I think that's what I work on. Pretty much this whole episode is the nether portal. Um, and you'll see what I mean by screwing up. Um, I have no clue why I grabbed all my diamond. I know why I grabbed all my, my water bucket. Um... And a uh, quick thing, this has been uh, available for a while, but that's a quick repair. You take two items of the same, and they, uh, depending on how much durability they have remaining, it adds up or averages out. Sometimes you'll get a completely new item. But essentially what you're doing is sacrificing two items for, two bad items for one good item. Or two very bad items for one mediocre item. What am I doing with the diamond? What am I doing with the diamond? Oh, that's right, I create my sword. I only make one at this point because I don't have a lot of diamond. Uh, it's also something that is going to change soon. Yeah, I'll just leave the diamond up there for now. i grab the iron. I put away some unnecessaries. And I grab my lava buckets. I don't know why I have black wool. I put that away. Oh, that's the remainder of the wool I had. Um, I did some sheep killing um, and some shearing and mixing down some of my string to make some to make a lot of the wool for the torches. Um, what do I do here? What do I do here? What do I do here? Um,
I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of what I'm doing other than running around and gathering materials. Oh, now I'm trying to pick a location for the uh, the Nether Fortress. Um, you want uh, not Nether Fortress, uh, Nether Portal. You want one kind of nearby. And um, for two reasons. Uh, one. It won't spawn pigmen if it's within the 22 blocks of you, or uh, I think I think I think it will regardless of the how well lit the area is. Um, but as long as it, you're within 22 blocks of it, it will not spawn pigmen. Like most people are under the assumption that, hey, this they come in and out. That's the illusion. <laughs> that's the illusion that it gives. No, uh, physically it's like villagers. If you have so many doors within an area, it's considered a village. Um, and they've got to be so far apart or so close together. So yeah, I just decided to come on out here and dig out me f uh, yeah, I just, instead of going back for the shovel, I, I dig out a frame. That'll be the base. Now, I screw up here. I, I remember thinking and what I was saying a little bit. Um, one of the nice little upgrades to the game that got added was you can make nether portals bigger than the standard. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad creeper. Bad. No, I Pop. And I have to fix this hole. This is where most of my dirt goes. <laughs> but, uh... I also talk about this. This is a problem I discovered in uh in um the Xbox version. If you fill in a creeper hole and you just cover the top like I'm so guilty of doing so many times, it will not pr and if it's not at least one if it's too deep, zombies will spawn in it because there's no light and it's perfect little monster spawner. So they spawned in it with us in the Xbox version. But as I get back to it, like I was I was saying is you can build um, bigger portals that will cause bigger things from the nether to spawn, i.e. ghasts, to spawn out of the portal. Um, like you can build really, really big things. And, uh, this was another reason why I built it in this vicinity was so we'd have access, closer access to the lava and I can just run up, run down, run up, run down. Which is most of this video, up and down, up and down, up and down. Wait, I, <laughs> I changed my mind and then I changed it again. But, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just constant up and down right now. filling in. This is what's commonly known as the bucket method. Uh, Ray from Rooster Teeth and Achievement Hunter, if you're watching, pay close attention. Yeah, but then again, I also screw this up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we get our holes. Um, 
I do a big uck up with this. Like I, I'm not proud of myself for it, but it happens. So forgive and forget. Then we go down, 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 down. Hey, hey. We're going down, 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 down. Hey. I'm sorry. It's I'm I'm a terrible singer. I know I am. I've commented on it before. I've said pretty bad things about my singing voice before. It's like I said, I wish lava had the renewable, the infinite properties that water does. Because I don't see what water's for other than fishing. Fishing and planting. And seriously. Like one block of water covers a good area. Like to keep it fertile. You don't need a lot of water. I mean, I only choose to have more for my uh, plants because I guess that's just the, the visual standard. Like, Okay, now here's where I screw up. Uh, I thought you can make it shorter. Because they, they change the size. Uh, the ruling is not it can be shorter. It has to be the same. Sheep, get down. Length. The same height as the old standard. But it also... But after that it can be wider. It can be higher. It can be 10 by 10. I think... It, there is a max height. But I couldn't tell you what it is right now. <sighs> and we're going down again. Down, 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 down. I don't know what that is. That doesn't count. All right. Go up, 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 and away. <sighs> it's monotonous, I know, I do apologize. But, I get it done, and I do a screw-up, but yeah. I inadvertently thought, you know, this was as high as I needed to make it, because of the new ruling on... And I start tearing down the frame. And I don't quite realize yet that I've screwed up, so I haven't. Like, I thought the frame just had to be big enough for you to walk through after the changes they made to frames. But it has to be full size. At least full size. Which is a two by three interior. And then it hits me. I don't have a flint and steel. I have not made one. And through most of my um, gravel gathering methods. Which is if I encounter gravel while tunneling. I dig it the first block out with a torch. And before it can fall I place a torch in its spot. Which causes all the other ones to break down to an inventory item. You know, the floating ones. And the problem with that method, particularly that method, is you don't get flint at all. So I have no flint. I even go looking for it. No gravel there. No I'm like, wait, did you no flint? No flint. I has not the flint coal. <laughs> Ah, uh, excuse me. Uh, we go back up, realizing that my mistake. And I think I either end up making a shovel or going to get a shovel. I don't know. <laughs> that was a nice surprise. I didn't know that was there. <laughs> um, both in the video, I knew it was there now. Um... 
Yeah, I think at this point I just say screw it and I make a shuffle. <laughs> I'm looking through the inventory. I can't wait to make the uh, potion with the uh, blowfish or the puffer fish as they call it, so I can uh, I can have water breathing. It and clownfish are the only two fit new fish that you can't cook. You can cook salmon, you can cook the default fish, um, but you can't cook the clownfish, and you can't cook the other one. So, if I catch a clownfish, I'm just gonna put it on. A, <laughs> I'm gonna put it on a uh, item frame and display it like a trophy. It's like, yep, oh, well, I caught that one. It was this big, you know, tell them the fish stories, but you know, um, the item frames, they, uh, compress everything. <laughs> oh no, I don't make a shovel, I go grab one of the two I've already made. Yeah, the, I am bad for that, uh, I will waste, waste inventory space. Um... I recently got asked, which I can I can address this on one of those. If I was going to build a ladder down to, down to the uh, basement, the storage basement, um, I don't know. I don't think I've given myself room to build a ladder. I like my path down. I really do. I think it works for what I want done. There's my flint, and one of the magical things about gravel is right here. Any, like, hmm, interesting, mm. must have not picked up a piece, but I go ahead and go in here, and I take the iron, why did I, go? I don't know why I'm looking at my pick, diamond pickaxe, I take the flint, Take the steel, and bam, we have a lighter, or a flint and steel. And I do that again. Every time I screw that up, every time. I start looking at my inventory being like, I got a lot of crap in there I need to get rid of. I think I might repair my armor. Alright, watching the monsters die out the window. Come on. Yep, there we go. Alright. Now here's where I realize I screwed up. It, 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 it's one of the biggest mistakes I ever make in this game. Because I was just so convinced that the new update changed portal sizes for the better. Like, you can make smaller ones. I'm like, oh, I'm going to put torches here and decorate it and keep things from coming in. And crap. <laughs> Nothing. So I take out the diamond pick. And this takes a minute or two. And this is literally the end of the episode right here. Is me fi fixing the problem. Um. Oh. I got loud. I got loud. <laughs> um. But I, I eventually say screw it. I'll use. Uh, I, I was going to go back for dirt. But uh. No I have to go back for the buckets. So I run back to the buckets. Um, I clear out spots for them. And I've got the two obsidian that I just picked up. Um,
I don't know why I looked off in that distance. I think I responded to something I heard. But I can't tell you what it was. I go down here to get me two more... Uh, I can't remember why I just freeze there. Sorry about that. Just stop. Hammer time. Do 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 do. But here we go. 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 Oh. Ah, I see what happened. All right, I just yeah, I grabbed two quick buckets right there. We go right back up. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. We keep moving up, 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 up. There it is. <laughs> My field goal of death. Yeah, this is me building it and build it, rebuilding the frame for the lava. And I, at this point, I was just beating myself up. I don't believe I could, could believe that I did something so stupid, but I was under the impression that uh, um, I was under the impression that you could like they completely change the size, and all it had to have was at least a small, too wide. 2x2 two two gateway. No, it's still a 2x3 gateway, so that happens. And now I think I just go to town with a pickaxe. At this point, I could have lit it up, but I chose not to until I finished the bricks, which I do realize I'm being pressed for time at this point. I am really, 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 really in a hurry to finish things off. Um, I think my buzzer goes off. My I had a timer and it just starts beeping like mad. So uh, if that pops in on the audio, I apologize. Um, there it is. There's the portal. We're going to go through that in the next episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.